we are starting this episode with a You Ask, We Answer segment where you submit questions about salmon, seafood, or the wild adventure lifestyle, and we answer your questions on the show. So we'll start with Steve. Um, the first question, Steve, is how long does frozen salmon last in the freezer? Well, today with the um, vacuum pack technology, basically all salmon is stamped with a two-year shelf life mark on there. We highly recommend that you consume it within the year that it was caught in for the best taste. And, um, you know, all salmon is created equally. It's not cared for equally. But um, so if you're starting with a very good product up front and it's harvest it, refrigerate it, taken care of through that process, filleted, vacuum packed in a nice sturdy vacuum pack, um, we guarantee our product for the full year because we know that people taking that product out at that year mark are still going to be delighted with the quality of it. And so one of the things that we show people is to, as when you buy a case of salmon and you've got it in your freezer, you want to make sure none of those plastic vacuum seals open. Cause that's what the number one problem that can occur and deteriorate the quality of the salmon while it's in the freezer is an open vac pack. So, um, we kind of like keep it in the box that it comes in and, and don't root around in your freezer and clink them together and break the seals. And if you do that and make sure that they're, the seals are kept shut. And if you do find one that opens up, like you just use that one first before it freezer burns and it's great. But if it, like it sits in there all season, you know, you can end up with a freezer burn product. Um, but the technology from when I started 19 years ago to now in the vac pack world is just changed so much that you get to enjoy the uh, just off the boat taste at that year mark. An interesting thing I was just thinking about, do you guys at your house organize your salmon in your freezer a certain way? So you kind of have it organized by when it, what year it is. Well, we never have anything that's older than a year in the freezer just because okay. we use it. Okay. Um, yeah. But I typically organize the freezer closest to the kitchen with a variety of different things. Okay. So I'll take it out of the box and put one or two in the freezer in the in the kitchen. Um, so I have it there for quick use. But um, the rest of the majority of the fillets or portions that we have at home are in the box in the chest freezer. Okay. Yeah. And if we ever do run product over a year, like, I mean, it happens. And I'll just use that for smoking or canning and um, use the freshest stuff for your sashimi grade or you know just medium rare and then you just kind of work backwards from that it's so there's it's kind of like that uh the adage of like milk just because the date expired doesn't mean that it is shouldn't couldn't be used for another use <laughs> yeah we get customers um all the time that'll be like you know using up their last filet from the year prior and it'll be october november and they're just like wow it was really good and so you know it's a year and four months old and you know they're they don't see the difference. And, um, you know, we always recommend that you use it right away within that year. But if it does roll over, um, there's plenty of great recipes out there that um, you can use it for. 